In the January, February update to Fusion 360, we've added some pretty cool enhancements to the drawings environment. If you're using the ANSI standard and you use the weld symbols, you'll be pleased to know that we've updated our welding standard to the latest AWS standard, and that you can now flip between the last two updates inside of document settings. When you're detailing your designs, once you place your welding symbol, the weld symbol dialog box is now gonna show you the active standards so that you know exactly what you're up to in the drawing space. Changing gears. In this model, I'm gonna go and add a couple of threads to some faces. So this is an external thread. And the thread I'm about to place now is an internal thread. Now previously, we didn't recognize threads placed in this manner using the hold and thread notes. We only recognized threads placed using the hold command. So again, here's a circular cutout that's not a hold. And as we apply a thread and pattern that, when I shoot over to my drawing space now, after saving and updating, I'll now be able to extract this thread information in a way that I wasn't able to before this update. So let's have a look. We grab our note tool, go over to the external thread, and it grabs the thread information. The same thing from our internal thread, in it goes. And if we go over to that hole pattern, same thing. It recognizes the threads and places the hole node for us. We've improved feature control frames. You can now attach them to notes, leader notes, and objects like hole and thread notes, and even dimensions. Here you can see dimensions going horizontal and vertical. So it's a great update. We really hope you enjoy using it. We'd love to hear your feedback.